Hello, one and all! This is the MJ406, your host for this video, and it's finally time that I have returned to the Metroid series. I realize after all this, I haven't really talked that much about the fact Metroid Dread came out. And for those of you that know, I'm a massive Metroid fan, I gotta say, whew! The game was worth the wait! It was actually a pleasant surprise when I heard it got announced last year. I was like, yes! And well, while it may not be the absolute greatest of the Metroid games, it was definitely a pleasant surprise for those of us waiting for Metroid Prime 4, which is still being worked on to this day, and who knows when the fuck it's gonna come out. It might not even come out for the regular Switch at this point, who the fuck knows? <clears throat> but I digress. Then again, E3 is coming up soon. I guess we we'll, might hear more? Anyway, yep. And that was, game was developed by Mercury Steam. In case you don't know who that is, I think they're the Castlevania Lord of Shadows games. I think. And they also did, uh, this game. Metroid Samus Returns. The, uh, official remake to Metroid 2. Because I know there have been plenty of remakes for Metroid 2, such as AM2R. The famous, um, fan project. Which is still good in its own right, but you know, I like to go official. And while I mean, some of you may be thinking, why don't you just play the original Metroid 2 since you love to go the original version? Well, I kind of hate the original Metroid 2 because, honestly, I have a hard time finding my way around it. <laughs> it's a mess. Even more so the first game, that's to be believed. And also, since, you know, Mercury Steam did Metroid Dread, the actual fifth Metroid game, I figured may as well let their, um, remake of the second game suffice for this project, and, uh, well... It'll be a good warm-up to I eventually get to Dread, because, oh, you know I'm going to be doing that at some point. I definitely will be. So it's finally time to return to Samus. I haven't got to play any of your games in a good while for the channel. Then again, this is the last game of the core timeline I haven't actually done yet. Because I did 1, 3, and 4 in the past. I mean, I still have zero mission. I'll have to get to that at some point, too, because that's better Metroid 1 by a long shot. And I did all the Prime games up to this point. The exception Federation Force. Oh, yeah, I did other M as well. But, yep, let's finally get into this. In the year 20X5 of the Cosmic Calendar. Why'd you block the second number and not... Why'd you block the third number and not the last number? <laughs> well, at least I know this happens before Mega Man X does. A Galactic Federation research team discovered an unknown life form on planet SR388. While they were able to successfully obtain a living sample, their research vessel was attacked by space parts during their voyage home. Yeah. It looks pretty epic. All right, turn the 3D off. Uh oh, not like I actually see it in 3D. It does actually get some depth in these pictures, though, which is kind of nice. I said turn that off. Oh, fine. This attack was no coincidence. The space pirates have set their sights on these mysterious organisms called Metroids. They plan to replicate the sample and exploit its ability to absorb the energy of any life form. Their intention was to use Metroids as a weapon, one powerful enough to conquer the entire galaxy. Well, yeah, they're space pirates. They're assholes. To combat this threat, the Galactic Federation dispatched a low bounty hunter to infiltrate the space pirate base on the planet Zemus. Sounds kind of stupid for one soldier to take on the entire planet and an evil or but, but she succeeded. <laughs> Against all odds, it's like we tried to kill her. Zemus Aaron eradicated the Metroids on Zemus and defeated him on the brain, the leader of the space pirates. And so their sinister plans were thwarted for time. That's the only platform she had to fight all that on. Like, that just looks like you're in, actually in hell. Dude. Like, her dude guy. They're fucking badasses through and through. And if the old enemy force, enemy alien forces like this, where they should die, there's like, nope. Bitch, I'm living. You are dying. You get off me. Concerned by these developments and by the great threat of the Metroid species still opposed to the galaxy. The Galactic Federation mounted another expedition to SR-388, because going to their home planet was such a fantastic idea before. A special squadron of elite soldiers from the Galactic Federation police was dispatched to investigate. The team soon went missing, but not before transmitting a small sampling of data back to headquarters. Well, this sucks. Anastasia's data confirmed a Metroid presence within the interior of planet SR-388. So long as they continue to exist, these Metroids would forever pose a devastating threat to the galaxy. But well, little did we know, we were going to need them all along. Eh, worry about it later. The resulting decision of the Galactic Federation Council was immediate and unanimous. Kill everything like humans always do. 
Samus Aran, you must exterminate the Metroids once and for all. Send our one woman army to do all of our army's work for us. I mean, she's probably better than our army, you know, in truth. <laughs> Have her do it. She clearly knows that she's doing better than anybody in our entire freaking military. Goddamn Galactic Federation. You guys are the worst. Ah, but yep. Finally get to play Metroid 2. I know, I know plenty of people weren't a big fan of this remake, and I will say, of the core games, I guess including Zero Mission, it probably is the weakest. And we're going by Zero Mission, Super Metroid, Fusion, and this. Although that's kind of just the way Metroid 2 is, because it's just, its execution was very strange. It's why it always stands out as an oddball amongst the main core Metroid games. Well, before Dread as well, but still, it's an interesting endeavor, interesting endeavor that's worth going through all the same. And well, if you play a 2D Metroid game, you know how this works. Okay, yeah, that's how the wall jump works. I had to remember. You have to run on the wall and then just jump. B button jumps, Y button shoots, and R button, I think you can, yep, change it to hold missiles out so you can blast people with heavy artillery. But yeah, there are people that are like a mixed bag when it comes to this remake. I'm honestly a big fan of this one. Well, yeah, like I said, I still put it below Fusion Super and probably Zero Mission, but I have to replay it at some point. Yep, missiles, there you go. Hold R and press the shoot button. You're also free aim. You can look around and shoot in like a 3D environment. You can also cling to walls and stuff. Like, I, I do like the way the game plays and feels. Like, the combat in this game is actually, like, very well done, if you ask me. But, well... Eh. Huh. I thought my reticle went red for a second. You can also shoot from walls. Like, how can you dislike this? Like, the amount of ways you can fight enemies... I love that when they open up, like, how much you can actually com combat the enemies in the environment. I say they take good advantage of the 2D space without making it feel like just 2D. Like you actually fight everything in your own way with a lot of, you know, options. I should probably blast this dead body to get rid of the evidence. Nah, screw it. It's already dead. I don't need to eradicate it. It's already done for. Oh no, new enemy! Ah! Use your melee counter right before charging enemy makes contact to parry. After doing so, you'll automatically take aim. Press X to use your melee counter now. So, we just gonna stay in a place like this? Or are we actually gonna... Oh, right. Fuck you! <laughs> you just stand there forever and you're like... Well. Uh, how's the weather going? <laughs> but yep, that's one of the things I like about this game that is also a... Ow! Very mixed bag with this game. The melee counter... Because basically, if an enemy's coming at you, you can just go, BITCH! Slap them off! And tell them, no. You're not hurting me, I'm hurting you. That was your mistake for trying to come at me with everything you've got. Some people don't like, as they say, like, throws off the pacing of the combat. Or sometimes it does, I will admit. But I, don't, I think it does more good for the game than bad, honestly. It's the most refreshing feature we've had in a Metroid game since Fusion, so, you know. I like the inclusion, personally. Makes the combat a little more interesting, and well, like I said, more options! Makes things more fun. I like having options to be able to, ah! You know, fighting enemies in more ways. In my, in my eyes, that's always a good book to, to read. A good book to read, yep. Sure. <laughs> Oh, I can't get in there. I can't even go to Morph Ball. But she get rid of all her stuff after she took care of Mother Brain, thinking she wasn't going to need it. Like, jeez. So this is every time. Samus Aaron is so forgetful. Ugh. Why does she never just keep all her powers? Ever. Sometimes she'll keep a lot of them and then lose them. That's more of the Prime games, particularly two, but still. And one, I guess. 
And we now have the Morph Ball! The compact Morph Ball lets you move through narrow passages. Simply push control stick down while crouching. Or tap the map on the touchscreen to take all Morph Ball form. Yes, thank you. I will do that. Oh yeah, I got the pause menu to look at things. Let's see. Grab a pen from the bottom of the screen and drag it to a location of interest on the map. Drag a place pin back to the bottom of the screen and delete it. Sure. There! I have a pin now! <laughs> you got your map icons in case you need to understand what all the things of the map are. And you look at the controls here! Select Eon and use Eon. We'll get to that later. Those don't make sense right now. Just give it some time. It won't be long. And, uh, yep, you can look at the map, including a map in detail. Not the percentage. That's, uh, your items. We'll get to that later. I don't know if I'm going to go for initial 100% right away, but, well, I'll see what I want to do. And just note, the pin location doesn't actually, you know, show up on your main screen. Just on the map. It's just for you expiration state. Missile tanks. Give me three missiles. I had to say, though, it does feel weird starting with 24. Such a weird number. Once you see the expansion go in threes, it makes a little more sense. Ah, why use a missile on you? I'm an idiot. Yeah, I'm still hoping I have a charge beam. But of course not. Eh, screw it. At this point, let's just save and move on. Ah, oh, it feels so good to be playing a Metroid game again. We've had so many Metroid B. Many games, Metroid-style games lately. Especially if you look at the, uh, you know, indie scene. Oh, no. An actual Metroid game just feels so unique. I love the way Metroid games feel in particular. It's my favorite of the style. Because it idealized it with Super Metroid. And while I just... It just feels like it does it the best out of all of them in my eyes. And here's your gimmick with how uh, Metroid 2 works, by the way. Note this weird statue thing. It's got a weird thing with Metroid 2 if you're unaware of it already. Damn it! Stupid door. What do you need? More power? He's a shit. Wish I had a charge beam. Haha! -ha! Take that underpowered door! That's right, I don't need you. I can go around. It's getting worse and worse as I move through here. It's like more things are dead. Oh man! That way too! Fine, I'll have to get around that door as well. Apparently, everything just has to be dead. Yeah, I just love the feeling of Metroid games. I really do. I miss getting to play these. Okay, that's some weird, um, power over there. What the heck are you? I'm not gonna worry about it. Just let me have- What? Ah! Did that thing try to eat me? Screw you, then. Scan Pulse. And here's the introduction of the Eon Powers. Something unique to the remakes here. Well, yeah. Upgrade Super Eon compatibility. It wasn't in the original game, I can say that much. Eon fuels special abilities, like the Scan Pulse. Refill your cage of the Eon Orbs, you foes may drop. Would you either beat them or successfully parry? Those are the yellow orbs, in case you were ever wondering what those were. Scanpulse uses Eon to scan an area. Use it to reveal map information and the location of breakable blocks. Press up D to add to equip. Press A while equipped to activate. Cancel by pressing A again before the pulse is released. Okay, so... There we go. So yeah, there you go. You can use it to reveal blocks. So you know, find out where to go and such. Oh god! You dare try to hurt me, Samus Aaron? You bitch. So, yep. Ow! You're both fighting me! That's two on one! That's not fair! You can also rapidly do the counters, which is pretty nice. Well, yeah. The only complaint I really have about the counter is that they do use it a little bit too much. They do abuse the counter a little bit. You'll see later on in the game as we get to later fights, but... I just, I do think it's a great addition to the game. It's just, you know, the execution's a little iffy at times, and they really want you to make use of it. It kind of drags the pace down a little bit. Other than that, though, I really like it. 
Oh, there they are. Oh, I love you. No! Everything I hug dies. I just want to be loved. Oh, boy. Great. The oppressive behavior continues. The immediate option has been unlocked in the map menu. Oh, cool. A friggin' life sucker just killed that thing. Now I can use these abstract objects that are like physical DLC. One of the worst options of that. Ooh! Being in this game. Ah, oh, Amiibo. I do enjoy the idea of the Amiibos, but I will say... I hate that one of the unlockables in this game is behind a fucking Amiibo! I'll say, like... I remember there was a game that infamously had, like... You buy a uh, hard mode difficulty because, well, yeah, of course. Got buy hard mode as DLC because fuck you. Still a super dumb idea. I forget what game that was, but the okay, nothing works. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to shoot that blob down. Cause I'm not well equipped. Yeah, there's no, you usually see a little icon, you usually see a little tell when an enemy's gonna charge at you, so. Prepare to press that X button as soon as they do. But yeah. Oh yeah, I should probably use like, scan pulse. Yeah, you just have to press it once it activates after a while. Don't panic pressing it or it won't activate. Just gotta give it some time to breathe. At least let you know for a good while where blocks are. Just don't abuse it because, remember, you only have a limited number of times you could use it while the meter's not full. Oh, also I forgot to mention. You know what the Metroid icon there in the lower right corner of the uh, bottom screen? It's flashing red. Basically, give me an indicator when you're close to a, uh, a Metroid. It's yellow when you're in the area. It's red when you're pretty close. Speaking of which. No, not you. Hey, I thought you wanted to be loved. You must die for my love. You first! What the? Did this turn to a bug? Fuck you. Back off. So yeah, Metroid. They evolved these weird bug things. Which is weird. Unfortunately, the only weapon you have to kill them with are missiles. You shoot their source by enough missiles and you're good. Give me that. You can do that when you can't do charge beam right now? What the hell? Oh, good! Metroid DNA, my favorite. Huh, weird. So they're hatching into those monsters. Man, Metroids are the worst sometimes. Good lord. Alright, well, enough of that. I'm gonna go through there, but first, let me refill again. Ugh. I hope I go through this game well. So I will say, I haven't played this game in a long time. Woo! Energy tank! Yes! Energy capacity increased by 100! Oh, uh, energy tanks, my best friends. I will say, this game, you definitely want to get energy tanks. Because this game can be an asshole sometimes. Well, yeah, if you didn't know the uh, pause screen when I looked at the options, you have the option to load either the last save or the last checkpoint. Checkpoints are basically boss fights, so, you know. If you want to improve your speed run, I guess, you can keep loading back and then just running yourself at optimal speed to back to where you wanted to go. At least it is good for speed running if you just want to get the speed run endings. Which, by the way, I'm not aiming for. I don't even know if I'm going to go for a full 100% just yet, but I will say at the very least that, well, I would like to try to get speed run stuff, but I'm not really counting on it. Charge beam! Yes! Oh, yes, the charge beam. How reliable you are. The charge beam gathers energy, which is then released all at once. This power can be used to open charge doors. Press and hold Y to charge, and then release Y to fire. Of course. Like that. Oh, yeah. I also forgot to go over, uh... You can press R to go over the, uh, Samus' abilities. Basic power beam. Press Y rapidly to fire consecutive shots. And a standard missile sub-weapon that fires a powerful projectile. Hold R, then press Y to fire. And then you can press L over here to look at your Eon abilities to review those. If you feel like you need to. Ooh! 
He's also gonna be energy refills? I never knew that. <coughs> Sorry. Oh yeah, I gotta get rid of that pin I have there. I should get rid of that, because I do not need that anymore. Remove all pins from the current area, yes. You can have up to ten pins. It's gonna need to remind yourself where you wanna go if you need to do that at all. You son of a If I like counter doesn't work all the time. For example, you can only do an enemy charging at you. The enemies are smart enough to just dodge it if you're casually trying to swipe at everybody, just like I always wanted to be a berserker. Move, move, move. <laughs> just batting everybody. That's completely against her character. They just came up to everybody's like, bitch, get the fuck out of my way. To like everybody. See Oh, if you pin them on a wall, I guess you can still hit them technically. Well, yeah, duh. Still, I don't think you can abuse it. Basically all I'm saying. Now how about you move over? But yeah, now you get to see how this game flows. It's kind of a uh, strange. So yeah, basically this game, you basically get all the Metroids in a certain area, plug them all in. Oh, Metroid DNA, baby. Yes. Then I shall open the way for you. You get all Metroids in area, the poison water moves down, so you can actually, yeah, go down. So, yep, you need to kill all the Metroids in the area to move on. It makes the game very linear in that aspect. You know, linearity in a Metroid game isn't a bad thing, though. Depends on how they approach it. This game's approach isn't bad, just, you know, different. All the other games just have you go to an open landscape, and then you just explore to figure out where you need to go from there using the powers you have. This one more leads you on, but then with every section, once you get to another gate, that's where the exploration begins, so you have to try to figure out where to go, get the powers you need and all that, in order to move on. It's like a bunch of little segmented areas. But you know, like I said, I don't hate it. Depends on the approach, which this one is not the worst I've seen. This is weird. Why is this here? I guess this is where the researchers offered their prayers and they are down here. Or the soldiers. Well, I'm not one for gods, so you can count me out. Oh! Can't blow that up. I think purple indicates a more fall bomb, which I... Excuse me! That was rude! Don't see me trying to hurt you like that, asshole. Alright! Ugh. I gotta make sure, but... No. Oh. There's a lot of stuff here I don't know how to deal with. How can I ever prepare myself to fight if I can't even break through those friggin' steel crystal spike things? Oh, yeah. And you can't wall jump off those surfaces because, uh... Oh. Right. Ow! Yep, those sticky surfaces you can't wall jump off of, so... Make sure to prepare for that. Also, I can't frickin'... All oh, right. You can always use that if you're lost. It's also good for uncovering the map, so that way, you know, you gotta figure out where to go if you need to. So, always take advantage of your abilities, because trust me, you'll probably need them at some point. I think I'm going the wrong way for this. Yeah, they're gonna need to climb that wall to be able to get it. All right, then, don't worry about it. Anyway, let's move on. Reveal more of the map to me! That's another thing people didn't like about this game. It's not even that big a deal, but some people are just, you know, picky about everything. At least you ask me, they are. I need to find my way down to the elevator. I definitely want to find my way down to that elevator. Excuse me! You're a jerk, sir. Oh, I go further down? I did not notice that. No, not from here. They gave it a little beeping to indicate there are blocks nearby you could break. So be sure to make use of that if you need to know where you're trying to go anyway. 
You asshole. Why do you make everything so difficult? Hmm. Something I could do, I just don't know what. Because I can't wall jump in this corridor because of how tight it is. So that's a bit of a pickle. There's something I could break somewhere. Oh, right. Oh, I know. Hmm, I'm forgetting what to do already. I gave you a star, you're already getting lost! Hmm, either that, or I didn't do the thing I had to do with that statue. Do I have to hit up to activate it or something? Do you mind? No? I don't know, it feels like the statue's here for something, but I can't figure out what. Well, take that, I guess. I can't go through there, though. Hmm. Now I feel like an idiot. Oh, here we go again. The flaw I always have when I do Metroid games. I haven't played this game in a long time, in case you're wondering. I've only played through it once. So. Yeah. Oof. Oh. God damn it. I gotta stop thinking. I gotta stop being stupid. But yeah, long story short, I don't know where to go. So. Forgive me if I get a little lost at times. Use the elevator? No, not yet. Hang on. I don't want to go down there. There's nothing down here. Those are the blocks there to let you know you can blast through. Oh, I know. They didn't do that. That's one thing. It's slightly annoying. You kind of had to guess how to get through some things. And again, it wouldn't be a Metroid game without you having to actually think for yourself. At least a little bit. Ah. <sighs> Killing a bunch of creatures I know nothing about. My favorite. Area 1! We're finally a new area of map! That's right! Get hit by scan pulse! Uh oh. I lost a whole energy tank. I'm fucking up along the way somewhere. Yep, you can always use this if you're trying to figure out where items are as you explore. I mean, if you're a true Metroid purist, you'll probably not want to use it too much, but you know. It's an option that's nice to have if you just want to find everything you can on your way. I do recommend it if you just want to get all the powers you can when you can. Like I said, it's good for stopping you from getting lost. All right, well, that will end this episode here. So welcome, everybody, to Metroid Samus Returns. While it's probably one of the odd black sheep of the Z Metroid... I was about to say Zelda. Metroid series, because of the approach of this remake, the fact that it pretty much invalidated the AM2R fan remake, and that it's, well, Metroid 2. In fact, it wasn't made directly by Nintendo, made by a studio that's hit or miss for some people, depending. I still think it's a very good Metroid game. One that I'm a fan of, like most. And hopefully, well, I'll have an easier ride than what just happened. I'm gonna try not to embarrass myself later on. Come back next time! we we'll explore deeper into the planet of SR388 and try to kill every Metroid that comes in our path. Because, yeah, in case you're unaware already, that's our mission. We're killing every single Metroid. But what about the other Metroid? Every single Metroid! Alright, fine, jeez.